Do you need a break, but you feel bad about taking time off? You need to stop thinking that way and instead focus on just how important breaks are, because taking time to recharge may very well save your sanity. In this video, I'll explain why and I'll share simple tips to take a break without guilt. So let's talk. I'm Jeremy Godwin, writer and mental health counsellor, and by the time this video goes live, I'll be kicking back at home on a three-week break. Not trying to make you jealous, just stating facts. Look, I work for myself, and I have commitments to clients, so I understand the guilt that can go with taking time off. But I also know firsthand how quickly stress can lead to burnout. Many of us feel guilty about taking breaks, worrying about the burden we'll leave on others at work or home. But here's the thing. Taking breaks isn't just nice to do. It's absolutely necessary for your mental health and your overall well-being. Let's talk about the importance of taking regular breaks. Our brains and bodies just aren't wired to run non-stop. Like any battery, we need to recharge. Breaks reduce stress, boost creativity, and prevent burnout. They're not just a luxury, they're a basic necessity. Guilt often pops up when we try to take a break. It whispers tales of looming deadlines and disappointed colleagues or family members. This guilt stems from a culture that sometimes confuses being busy with being productive. But let's bust that myth once and for all. A well-rested you is far more effective than a worn-out version. And the only way to do that is to take regular breaks. So now let's go through some tips to take a break without guilt. Tip 1. Shift your perspective. Acknowledge the guilt you may feel, but remind yourself it's based on the misconception that we have to work long hours in order to be productive. We don't. Hours worked do not guarantee quality or quantity of work. Instead, choose to view breaks as a critical and non-negotiable aspect of productivity, not to mention your well-being in general. You cannot fill from an empty cup, and nobody can or will look after your self-care for you. So it's up to you to make your needs a priority, and that includes time to rest and recharge. Tip 2. Incorporate regular breaks into your routine. You don't need to go on a luxury holiday to Bora Bora four times a year in order to rest and recharge, although I wouldn't say no. You can and should incorporate a mixture of short and long breaks throughout the year, as well as micro breaks, like taking a 5-10 to 10 minute walk away from your desk twice a day and stopping to take a proper lunch break and eating your lunch somewhere else. The more you do that, the more you'll see and understand the value of breaks. Tip 3. Set clear and realistic expectations. Manage expectations with colleagues, friends, and family regarding your availability. Be clear about when you are taking breaks and be assertive about the importance of this time. This clarity helps in managing others' expectations and it reduces the pressure to be constantly available, helping to diminish guilt. And yes, it is perfectly reasonable to turn your phone off or to not be contactable when taking a break. You're entitled to it. And in most countries, there are clear legal protections in place which reinforce your right to take breaks. Don't let yourself be exploited or taken advantage of. Tip 4. Communicate. Talk to those who will be affected by your time off or you being unavailable for whatever period and let them know you won't be available and what alternate arrangements you've made. Give them someone to contact for urgent matters and make sure clients' needs are taken care of. Then switch off and take your time off. And by that, I mean actually switching off. No doing work on your break, please, because otherwise you're not really resting. I guarantee you that they can survive without you for a bit. Tip 5. Practice self-compassion. A lot of our guilt often comes from within and from the pressure we put on ourselves. So remind yourself that it's not only okay, but essential to take breaks for the sake of your mental, emotional, and physical health. Understanding and accepting that you're doing the best you can and that taking breaks is a part of maintaining your best self can help in overcoming feelings of guilt. Here's the thing. 
Taking breaks is about giving yourself permission to recharge so you can return to your commitments with renewed energy and focus. Next time you feel that tug of guilt, remind yourself that a well-taken break is the secret ingredient to a healthier, happier you. And who knows, you might just inspire those around you to embrace a little pause too. You've got this. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and you can listen to me share more tips on taking breaks and other topics in the Let's Talk About Mental Health podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts. There's a link to it in the description or head to ltamh.com. Thanks for joining me today and talk to you next time. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Join now for early episode access and ad-free content. You'll find a link to it in the episode description.